Uh, hi, my name is Pepin van den Abele. Um, welcome to Volupte, right in the middle of the city. And what we will be making you for you today is a Christmas cocktail called Pudding Cup. And it's actually a liquid version of a Christmas pudding. Now for that you need a whole heap of spices and a whole heap of rums and then some extra bits. So to get the earthy flavor of a Christmas pudding, we'll be using molasses. Uh, molasses, uh, the sugarcane derivative. So it's a bit hard to work with sometimes, especially if you want to start shaking with ice. So the best way to dissolve molasses is to use a little bit of overproof rum and just melt it into the rum. What I'll be using for that today is Trois Rivières uh, Rum Agricole. Uh, you'll need about 15 mils, let's say, uh, to get a proper effect. But once it's in the glass, you just flame it and keep it turning around until the molasses gets dissolved, basically. So, this is a orange flavored rum, uh, Creole shrub. Again, uh, based on an agricole rum, you take 15 mils from this. To get a bit more spices into it, use a spice rum. A uh, very good one to use, again, for the earthy flavors is the Kraken. Uh, you can use different ones, Green Island Spiced, uh, St. Lucian uh, Chairman Reserve Spiced is a very nice one as well. And then, to get a bit of nut flavor, you also use some Frangelico. Uh, you can use Amaretto as well, so 10 mils of uh, Frangelico. For spices, you take three clovers, um, squeeze them a little bit in your hands so they're broken up, so it releases the flavor a little bit more. There you are, then cinnamon. Um, get a clean spoon for this, let's say a fifth of a spoon of cinnamon. Then nutmeg, uh, you can flame the nutmeg when you put it in there, but it does, with the molasses it's already enough uh, that of that earthy flavor, so I wouldn't flame it. Then, little secret ingredient is date syrup. You can use plum syrup as well, but the date syrup, syrup is a little bit um, finer, so I would use about 7.5 mils and it gives you that real Christmassy fruit and spice flavor. Most of the excess alcohol has burned off. You don't want to burn it all off because you do want that kick in the drink as well. Then secret ingredient, homemade falernum. Uh, you can get it in the shops, uh, it's based on, well it's a sugar syrup from Barbados, uh, but there's a whole leap of spices in this. This one I made with orange, lime, star anise seed, nutmeg, uh, cinnamon and a few other secret ingredients, but by all means you can get your own in the shop. This is a shaken cocktail, so take some ice, take some for quite a while um, as all the spices need to really go into the drink. Official garnish for this cocktail uh, is actually a piece of uh, Christmas pudding itself but considering it's in the middle of summer, um, the little summer that we are having in this country at the moment, uh, I can't because it's not available. So just to make it a bit Christmassy, a uh, little piece of Christmas pudding on the side, dust a bit with icing sugar on top. And that's your pudding cup. And enjoy.